Portal guns, those sleek white futuristic arm extensions that allow you to shoot little balls of energy which fuck with space and time. Pretty much every gamer knows what they are, and it seems like everybody and their mother has tried to make a Portal Guns IRL video at some point or another. Some of them are even pretty solid, others not, not so much. And before I begin, I'm a little under the weather for this video, so <coughs> please forgive me. Now that I've told you about my illness, let's talk about Portal Guns. The best videos on the internet make it seem like people have actually succeeded in making these guns in real life. But if Michael Bay has taught me anything, it's that you can make anything seem real with some sweet editing and special effects. And besides, I don't give a shit if we can make guns look real in post. I want to know what's up with the science behind a portal gun. So what exactly does a portal gun do? Well, the simple answer is that it connects two points in a space-time through an Einstein-Rosen bridge, more commonly known as a wormhole. These two points are interconnected and can cover extremely short distances, inches or meters, or extremely long distances, billions of light years, or more. But how can it do this? Well, think about a piece of paper. Two holes appear in this paper, hole A and hole B, each representing a wormhole. Now, for a two-dimensional being like a stick figure, the only way they can understand to get from point A to point B is by traveling the distance on the plane of the paper, when in reality, the stick figure could hop in wormhole A and come out wormhole B. This is because A and B are connected through a third dimension, where something that goes through A immediately comes out of B. The same idea trans translates to our livable three-dimensional space, except the wormhole creates a fourth dimension that we, as three-dimensional beings, cannot comprehend. Damn, that's some deep shit. No wonder why Einstein and Rosen named it after themselves. If I figured this stuff out, I would've called it a tree hole. A bridge-sickle? A tree bridge? Yeah, uh, a tree bridge. But I digress. So portal guns work by opening up two small wormholes for a sustained amount of time, allowing objects to pass freely between them. This makes sense in theory. All you gotta do is bring up an old episode of Star Trek to get the gist of how these things work. And it's easy to represent these portals in a sci-fi movie or game, but how legit are these things in our known universe? Well, ha, wouldn't you like to know? And I would too. So, I'll keep reading. These portals are actually very prevalent within a few tens of thousands of kilometers from Earth. Now, I know that sounds super far away, but hear me out here. A NASA-funded researcher out of the University of Iowa has been studying data gathered from our spacecrafts in orbit for many years now. Plasma physicist Jack Scudder explains it. There are places where the magnetic field of Earth connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, creating an uninterrupted path leading from our own planet to the Sun's atmosphere, 93 million miles away. Whoa, okay, so there are essentially hidden portals where the magnetic field of Earth connects to the magnetic field of the Sun, allowing us to leapfrog from our own planet to the Sun's atmosphere. In other words, wormholes pop up wherever the Sun and Earth's magnetic fields cross over each other. These portals are popping up tens of thousands of kilometers away from Earth, which really isn't that far away in comparison to the 93 million mile distance from the Sun to the Earth. It's hard to comprehend on the scale of tens of thousands or millions of miles. So let's put things in perspective. Let's say you're in Los Angeles and want to go to New York. This distance, as the crow flies, is approximately 3,940 miles. But where would the portal be? Let me tell you, it's not as far away as you'd expect. You would only have to travel half to three quarters of a mile to reach the portal that would pop you on over to NYC. Pretty crazy, huh? But back to these observed magnetic portals, or X-points as Mr. Jack refers to them. Observations by NASA's Themis and Europe's cluster probes tell us that these X-points open and close dozens of times per day. And while most are very small and last for a short amount of time, others are large and stay open for long periods, allowing high-energy particles to hop that distance quickly, heating Earth's upper atmosphere, among other things. And while these X-points were at one time viewed as incredibly elusive, unstable, and invisible, our plasma physicist has been able to pinpoint where these phenomena occur. The term X-points comes from where the crisscross between the Earth and Sun's magnetic fields cross, forming an X. And this overlap of magnetic fields propels jets of charged particles from the X-point, creating an electron diffusion region, otherwise known as one of our elusive portals. And this is just the beginning of what we hope to uncover. 
While studies by NASA and other space agencies are currently ongoing, the general idea, in theory, is there. But we don't know all the ins and outs of it. Sure, we know one side of this portal is being opened very close to Earth and creates an uninterrupted path to the sun's atmosphere. But we haven't actually found the corresponding opposite wormhole near the sun yet. But that's just because it's only been in relatively recent years that we've had the correct tools to study this phenomenon. With the direction that technology has taken in recent memory, anything is possible. If you were to travel back in time to the 70s and tell people that most first world citizens would be carrying a phone that has more computational power than a warehouse full of mainframe computers, they would have thought you were full of shit. And look where we are now! With our knowledge of this crazy world we live in growing at an incredible rate, I would argue that it's not a matter of if portal guns are possible, but when they will become possible. Because once we figure out the science behind these portals, or wormholes, or X points, or whatever you want to call them, it's only a matter of time before we make strides towards harnessing these phenomena. But who knows, I'm just a guy who finds this stuff fascinating. So let me know if you agree or disagree, or lie somewhere in between and comment down below, or shoot a tweet to Treeskull Team. It's always interesting to hear you guys' opinions on these sciencey things. Oh yeah, and if you want me to dive into the science behind any other video games, let me know about that too. See all you peoples next time.